as we know, the world has been experiencing uh, new emerging pathogens that cause uh, a lot of human suffering and loss of lives. But in Africa, we are lagging behind the technologies to timely uh, combat this infection. Therefore, having such a training uh, build the capacity for young Africans so that Africa can have the capacity to respond to such outbreak. And recently we have seen the waves of uh, uh, outbreaks in animals, in humans, for instance, COVID-19, uh, Ebola, Mabak recently. Uh, with this uh, knowledge, uh, the participants will be able uh, to build the scientific muscles uh, to be able to identify and detect the infections. Uh, in this case, we'll be able to localize the diseases and prevent the spread of the disease from the less other parts of the world. In such a way, we are minimizing the cost of preventing the diseases. I think this training is, is a, a, a very great step uh, towards uh, enhancing uh, research, uh, medical research development. Uh, in Africa, and and uh, uh, the, be, being that you know participants are actually upcoming scientists, uh, I think it, it goes a long way towards equipping uh, the the upcoming uh, a breed of scientists in Africa to be able to tackle uh, the challenges of disease, uh, not just disease, but in the surveillance and diagnostics. Currently, we've got so many different novel uh, pathogens that we we are discovering through the different skills that we are gaining from here. So it's important for us Africans as well to gain such kind of uh, skills so that we can be able to uh, evaluate and interpret genetic data instead of sometimes uh, sending the information to uh, different countries where results take more than a week for them to come back. But with the new advanced techniques that we are learning from here, it's possible for us to do uh, genome sequencing whilst we are in the fields and in our own countries if we have the materials available for us. The SASE training was uh, wonderful and uh, it helped me to know the basic behind on the molecular things. So as my work on PhD, I will do on molecular mechanisms of this antimicrobial resistance and one of the objective is uh, sequencing I will do whole genome sequencing. For this training helped me a lot and, and uh, skills to how I will go with my research. Yeah, the exceptionality of this training by bringing experts from all fields of genomics has uh, improved my knowledge and skill of molecular biology. I um, just started the PhD in veterinary medicine and biomedical sciences. So it will be of great help for me. And actually it serves as an avenue to connect with colleagues and provide, have a, a good network as a early uh, career researcher. The training is very intensive, which cut across all the uh, environment and, and, and different animal species and plant species so we can be able to, to detect these pathogens right away. And we have received participants from uh, several countries in the region, and those participants with the skills uh, gained during this training will contribute to the development of uh, genomics and metagenomics capacity in their, their respective countries. And this is very important for the African young scientists to be able to contribute to the diseases detection, monitoring, and uh, characterization, especially at the community level. I'm very grateful to the SASIS Foundation for One Health for organizing this training. It has been helpful to me and to my colleagues. I had most of my friends saying that, oh God, I was planning to attend this training in Europe or in Kenya. So having it in Tanzania, for us Tanzania and for other uh, Africans who, who came from different countries, it has been very supportive and very helpful. Most people, I heard them telling me that, oh God, I wish there are many more training like this. <laughs>